Hi, um, YouTubers, this is Homestead Nurse, and I'm going to be covering the topic of congestive heart failure today. I've got a lot of patients out there who have been diagnosed with uh, CHF, as they call it, and they're on a lot of medications, and they just don't understand what congestive heart failure is and why they take all these medications, and they still seem to have a lot of symptoms. So I'm going to start with some basics. When I go in and I talk to my patients about CHF, I explain it this way. Um, your heart is a pump. What happens with congestive heart failure is that pump begins to fail. It's not pumping effectively. So when the left side starts to fail, what happens is uh, we get some shortness of breath. We've got fluids that start accumulating in the lungs. Uh, when the right side actually starts to fail, we see more of the swelling in the feet and the, and the lower legs. Um, so that's right and left uh, congestive heart failure is what that's called. And then what happens is the the doctor decides to put you on some medications to help your your um, heart work a little bit better to help get rid of some of that fluid that's accumulating you may see in your medicine cabinet some of these medications um, if you're on Lasix or Topor, Toporol, uh, Toporol XL or Metoprol or Vasotec or Emdur or Coreg or Cardizem, those are all medications that help manage that congestive heart failure. So, um, but what I find is a lot of my patients, they continue with um, lifestyles and, and, and diet that actually makes their congestive heart failure worse and they don't understand why they're still short of breath and why they have all the swelling in their their feet and their legs and the medication just isn't working anymore well you can't be eating a bag of potato chips and having that lovely um, soup and sandwich for lunch because that's loaded with sodium and uh, after a while a diuretic just isn't going to be effective anymore um, you're still going to be short of breath you're still going to have swelling in your legs so you really do have to make some changes. So if you or a loved one uh, has congestive heart failure, the first thing that I tell them is let's start with some basic diet changes. Number one, get rid of the sodium. Uh, put down the salt shaker. Uh, don't be eating foods that are, are processed and have a lot of salt in them. Uh, start looking at fresh vegetables and, and fruits. And, and, and that's, a, that's about it. You know, that's the, that's the first thing that really, really is going to uh, make a big difference. Uh, the other thing, too, is if you smoke and you drink, um, not good, because that actually slows down the effectiveness of your diuretic that you're taking. So it doesn't make any sense that you're taking all these medications and then you're counteracting them with all these bad habits. And I know we all have bad habits, but when you're talking about your heart, this is pretty serious. So things really do need to change. Um, the other thing that I see in a lot of my patients is that swelling of their feet. And it's a real concern because um, it's uncomfortable and it is telling us that their heart isn't functioning very well. So how can we allevi alleviate that? Well, number one, like I said, is the sodium. The other thing that you can do is um, elevate your feet during the day. Everybody, they get up and they sit on the couch and they watch TV and, and where are their feet, their feet, their feet are, are plopped on the ground. Well, gravity is working against you basically because you, for your heart to, to pump um, the fluids from your, your feet, it's, it's a long way, um, heart to your feet. So gravity is kind of working against you. So bring up your feet, elevate them with a pillow, um, whatever you need to do, they need to be, get, be up and they, you should be doing that. Um, whenever you're sitting in a chair and if that's uncomfortable do that at least three to four times a day that'll help even at night too when you're laying in bed elevate your feet now I know a lot of my patients are to the point where they don't even lay in bed anymore because when they lay flat they can't breathe so um, they end up in a recliner or they end up in bed with their with their head um, elevated so um, I know it, it can get it can get bad but the elevation of the feet really is going to help. The other thing is the doctor may have prescribed TED hose for you. The TED hose is a very tight elastic stocking 
And a lot of my patients don't like to wear those TED holes, but they do serve a purpose. They push the fluids back into your extremities. Um, I, they don't push it back to your extremities. They, they push the fluids back into your, your um, system so that they can be redistributed. And it does help with that edema. So please wear your TED hose. If you don't have TED hose, um, you can wrap your, your legs and your feet also with elastic wrap. Um, you can get a, a compression um, wrap um, at Walmart. They're not expensive. So it's like when you get a sprained ankle, you, you buy that elastic wrap. So do use that. And um, if you have someone who can massage your legs and your feet, that actually helps a lot too. And that redistributes that fluid. So have them gently massage your feet a couple of times during the day. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I can give you. Oh, um, you can add vitamin B to your diet and iron. They say that it actually does help eliminate or alleviate the symptoms of edema. So adding those two simple things can really help too. And if your medications just don't seem to be working and you've made some changes to your, your diet, you lowered your sodium, you're elevating your feet, you're using your compression stockings, um, you may not be on um, the right dosage of like your Lasix or your diuretics or your diuretic may not be the right one anymore. So unfortunately, you may have to contact your doctor to find out if that's the case. But please do so because every time um, you start gaining weight and you have that swelling in your feet and it's not going away and you're short of breath, uh, your heart really is being taxed. So take your medications, um, watch your diet, a little bit of exercise is always good, get, get, get moving, and hopefully those things will help eliminate some of those problems that you find with congestive heart failure. So hopefully that was a real quick tutorial and gave you kind of some oversight. If you have any other questions, please feel free to make some comments. Uh, there's a lot of information out there about congestive heart failure, and I just wanted to do it in a little bit of a nutshell. So, all right, thanks for watching.